My beautiful friends, it's Amanda here, and today we have a lot of catching up with ColourPop to do. They have released a bunch of lip products that I have been behind on reviewing, so we're going to do a quick overview here. I'm going to show you everything. We have new packaging, updated formulas, a bunch of new shades, some old shades as well, some OG favorites. We're going to look at all of the packaging, all of the applicators up close. I'm going to arm swatch all of these colors for you. I'm not doing lip swatches today. There are over 50 different lip products showcased in this video, and there's no way that my lips could hold up to that many lip swatches. But if you want to see lip swatches of any of these in the future, just let me know what would be most helpful to you, and I'll do my best to put something together. All of the Luxe lip oils are $10 a piece, and then all of the different Ultra formulas are $9 each. So we have Ultra Glossy, Ultra Blotted, and Ultra Matte Lips. These do have new packaging and updated formulas, but we mostly have new shades. Like I said, there are some OG favorites in there. And you can use my affiliate code, Amanda, to save 10% on the ColourPop site on any of the individual lip products. It will not apply to any of the pre-made sets and bundles. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping around. And while we're here updating, I did just want to let you know that we have a new summer mystery box. This is priced at $49. Codes will not apply to the summer mystery box. It's called the Secret Stash Summer Mystery Box. And it's supposed to have $121 full retail value. I don't have one of these yet, so I can purchase one if you want to see what's in it. And a very exciting restock. Their collaboration with BT21, the Bon Voyage palette, is back in stock. This one is full priced at 30 US dollars, but codes do work on that one. So if you missed out on the first round, it sold out super quickly, but it's back, and I believe it's back for a pretty limited time. So don't sleep on that one if it's something that you missed out on and wish you got your hands on. Now, let's get into the lips. We're going to start with the Lux lip oils first. Like I said, this is the only lip product in today's video that is priced at $10. The packaging is updated in the just the color, the theming, but it's the exact same shape and size as it was previously. So if you plan on picking some of these up, they should store nicely with your existing Luxe lip oils. And this does have the exact same flexible flat doe foot applicator that we saw on the previous Lux lip oils. According to ColourPop, these are infused with a lip-loving blend of antioxidant-rich chamomile oil, calendula oil, and shea butter to nourish, and it has a lightweight texture that is moisturizing for dry lips without feeling sticky. They also suggest that you can Pair this with a lippy pencil or over a lipstick to add a glossy look, but you can also wear it alone if you're just looking for those skincare type benefits. We only have a handful of new shades for this Lux lip oil release. The majority of the colors that you're going to look at here, yes, these are no shade. These are all different colors, but the new shades are raspberry mojito, cherry bite, fresh peach, and honey kiss. The rest are all pre-existing shades. Personally, this is my least favorite formula that we're looking at today. I wouldn't even bother lip swatching these even if I was doing lip swatches because I really feel like these all look exactly the same on the lips. You can see here a bunch of them look the same just on my arm. These don't really do much for me. Um, I don't really think you need to own more than one of these. Maybe, maybe two, maybe get a clear one and one of the tinted ones, but they pretty much all look the same. I don't love the lip oil formula from ColourPop, which, you know, I don't say that very often. I'm usually all about my ColourPop everything. These just don't really do much for me. They're other more nourishing skincare benefit type formulas that I like elsewhere. 
Now let's get into the ultras, starting first with the ultra matte lips. This is such an OG ColourPop product. I remember buying these when they first released them years and years ago. It was probably six or seven years ago, and that was back when matte liquid lipsticks were really having a moment. The ultra matte lips that we're going to look at today are almost entirely new shades. The only OG faves that they brought back are Beeper, Flurries, Bumble, which was one of my favorites for a really long time, Melanade, and LAX. The rest of the colors are new. As far as the updated formulas go, I think that the ultra matte lip should get the most improved award. These are a lot smoother, a lot lighter feeling. The previous ultra matte formula was pretty thick, pretty heavy. Now it definitely had a decent opacity. It definitely had a long wear time, but this updated formula was able to retain those good qualities while making them more lightweight, more comfortable. So these get the most improved award as far as the formula goes. And I gotta give ColourPop props for the shade Panther. Finally bringing back some more out of the box colors for their lip products. They used to do a whole bunch of fun more offbeat lip colors. So I'm happy to see this. I hope that continues. I hope that we can see some gray and lavender and other, you know, more quote unquote weird colors because I think that's fun. And it's something that a lot of people are missing in their makeup routines is something fun, something offbeat. So we did only just get that one blue lip, but it's really pretty deep royal navy type of color and it performs really well. So I'm excited to see that. Now let's talk about the ultra blotted lips. I do think that this formula has improved as well, especially because these haven't stained me as badly as they used to. They all used to leave behind this bright pink stain anytime I would put them on my lips or on my arm. And these would look so cracked and crumbly on my lips. It was just not a very flattering formula for me. I never really loved these before. It's still not my most preferred formula. I do think that the ultra mattes have improved more than the ultra blotted, but I know a lot of people love these and I'm excited to see them reformulated for the folks who are really excited for this type of lip product. This ultra blotted lip range only sees three returning shades. The rest are new. So Starling, Zuma, and Doozy are returning old favorite shades and the rest are new. In all honesty, I think a lot of these shades look pretty darn similar. And because these are not a super opaque formula and they're not meant to be they do tend to look quite similar on the lip as well i mean obviously some of the brighter or darker shades like that attention please shade will look different on the lips but in general a lot of these mid-tone nudies a lot of the terracotta kind of reddish those all tend to look at least on me look pretty similar. I do have decently pigmented natural lips, so maybe that's part of the problem and maybe you will experience something different just based on your skin tone, how pigmented your lips are, and all that good stuff. But in general, I think a lot of these lighter shades especially look the same. Last lip product we're looking at in this video are the ultra glossy lips. I think this is an exciting update for a couple of reasons. First of all, all the shades that we're looking at in this video are new. Now, that doesn't mean that you probably couldn't very well compare these to a lot of the previous shades. I'm sure that that's the case. None of these are groundbreaking colors for lip gloss. It's like nude, brown, pink, kind of a clear one, a sparkly one, you know what I mean? But as far as this formula, this release, these are all new shades and I really like 
the packaging update for this. Formula wise, I think the ultra glossy lips have the least significantly noticeable change, but the packaging update is awesome because if you recall, a lot of their ultra glossy lips for the longest time would have those little brush tip applicators. It was very hit or miss with the glosses. Sometimes they had little baby doe foots. Sometimes they had those little brushes and I cannot stand the little brush applicator. I always disliked that from the beginning. So I'm very happy to see that we now have the flat flexible doe foot. It's very similar to what's on the Lux lip oils. And I just prefer this type of doe foot for glosses. I think it looks nicer. It holds up more nicely after lots of use and I just in general really like to see the packaging update. I wanted to show you the packaging all side by side here because they are coordinated and if you don't see them together they probably look like the same color but they are slightly different colors for each formula and that little subtle color difference is also noticeable on the lids so if you're storing these you know all standing up in a cup together or something this is a quick easy way to try to grab for the right product so these look nice and streamlined they look good together they're still cute and a little fun but they definitely aren't very immature looking they walk that line between being cute and fun and a little bit whimsical but not super childish at least for me I like a little bit of cute stuff you know just because I'm 37 doesn't mean I need all my makeup packaging to be the same old silver black boring blah you know I like a little sparkly pink cute emojis every now and then anyway maybe that's just me <laughs> these are the glosses swatched together. Again, I think a lot of these shades are gonna look pretty similar on the lips, especially these lighter shades, at least on me. Pretty much the whole first half that you're looking at here, for the most part, look the same. We do have three pearlized shades, so these have a little bit of shimmer. Those shades are Sugar Cookie, it Girl and Stylish. The rest are just a cream finish gloss. These are cute. They're mostly just pretty straightforward glosses as far as I'm concerned. I'll definitely use them, but I don't think is as exciting of a formula update as the Ultra Blotted and Ultra Mattes who really got a great noticeable improved wearing experience. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know in the comments, are you gonna pick up any of these? Are any of your OG favorites back? What kind of videos would be helpful for you in the future? Do you wanna see like my favorite shades or a shopping cart video or what would help you the most? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video and I love your face very much. I'm so happy you're here and I love your face. Okay, bye!